sure you get the uh, garden covers out if you need them because we've got frost ahead for later on tonight. Uh, the frost advisory is going to affect at midnight. That's when we are expecting those frosty conditions to start to settle into the state line. They'll last through about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, and that's when temperatures start to warm above freezing. Tonight we are near freezing, so uh, with frosty conditions, any kind of tender plants like uh, flowers or a newly planted garden, that can be harmed by the frost, so cover those plants up until about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Right now, we sit in the middle to low 50s, definitely cool for this time of year, as usually we're closer to 70 degrees. And because we have a cool day, that sets us up for a cool night. Temperatures dropping down to near freezing by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, which is why we've got those frosty conditions on the way. We quickly warm up after that, though, so it's just those early morning hours. We have to deal with the near freezing temperatures of a mainly clear sky and light winds going into the overnight hours. So really no wind chill to speak of. It's just brisk out there going into Saturday morning. By Saturday afternoon, back up to around 60 like today. We'll see cloud cover build in throughout the course of the day. That's ahead of some rain showers moving in during the late evening. So most of Saturday will be dry, but as we get close to sunset, just make sure you check the 13 Weather Authority app because you have to keep an eye on this activity. If you've got any kind of outdoor plans around sunset, you can see rain showers lining up to our southwest by about 5 o'clock tomorrow evening, and they start to roll in after that. Here we are around sunset and most spots south of I-88 getting some rainfall. And as you can see, it's working its way northward as well. So into Stevenson County by about 7 tomorrow. Uh, Rockford staying dry at least until the late evening hours. And that steadier light rainfall moves on in. I think the heavier rain lines up south of I-88. So north of I-88, not quite as much rainfall. And south of I-88, potentially an inch plus for rain on the way. You can definitely see that going into early Sunday morning as we have an uptick in intensity, so heavier showers working through. And then interesting sight on some of the models. They're looking just cool enough, or maybe a snowflake or two mixes in. No accumulation there. We'll continue to see just rain showers for the most part, but don't be surprised if we do happen to see again a snowflake or two pop up early Sunday morning. By the middle of the morning, expecting to see drying conditions. Remainder of Mother's Day looking dry. And when it comes to rain amounts, definitely looking hefty, half inch plus uh, for most spots of the state line. But as you get north of US 20, definitely getting a lot lighter out there with the rainfall. Inch plus potentially ahead south of I-88 and with some drought conditions starting to set up locally. It's nice to see a soaking rainfall. After the rain moves out, after about 9 o'clock Sunday, we are looking at a breezy and cool day ahead for Mother's Day. Could have some gusty winds with that, so be ready for some brisk conditions ahead for the end of the weekend. Next week, things clear out, settle down, and start to warm. We're back into the mid-60s by the middle of next week. 70s popping up on Friday. Just a slight chance for rain on Thursday right before that, so we'll have to keep an eye on that next week. And in our most accurate 10-day forecast, we stay in the 70s long term, so after a cool weekend, we get back to May conditions by next week, James. Yeah, good to see that's on there at the end of the 10-day. Alex, thanks.